What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're testing out the latest version of the GameHub emulator on a Mali GPU device. I have already set it up and the phone right now here, powered by the flagship MediaTek Dimensity 8350 Ultimate with a Mali G615 six core GPU. It comes with eight gigs of RAM. As usual, open GameHub emulator. It's already updated to the latest 5.1.0 version. And here I have already imported some games. If you want to import more games, you can directly import them from the internal storage where you copied PC games. You just need to import the game launcher or any executable game file so that the emulator will directly detect it and install the recommended drivers based on your phone. Here I have also logged into Steam to test Steam games on this Mali GPU phone. I have already covered a video about Steam games. If you missed that, do check out the cards or the description. Also, in this update, they added a new driver fix for the Mali GPU devices. Let me show you. The setup process will be the same as usual. In compatibility settings, they updated the layer to the new Proton 10 ARM V64 X2 driver. In translation params, set it to performance or extreme mode to improve FPS. Here the dinput library is set to native by default. They also added an option to skip video audio decode to avoid black screen issues while rendering animations. Here the GPU driver is set to system driver. And here in DXVK version, they added the new Mali GPU driver version 1.11.1 fix to support more Mali GPU devices and compatibility with DirectX 11 titles. This will improve performance and stability in FPS. All the other remaining settings are the same as usual. Set the VRAM limit to one to two gigs based on the games you play and leave all the other remaining settings to default. They also added the developer options to enable the log server and debug the wine parameters. Anyway, let's boot it up. Also, make a note that this version of the game is not based on Steam. It's an old legacy version. And also here in performance, the native rendering is set to auto. This will enhance performance and accuracy while emulating. Now here, I'll turn off the Wi-Fi connection to make it offline. And there we go. Everything is set to normal preset at 720p settings on DirectX 10. This time, it looks a bit more stable compared to the last previous version. Also, here we are running this on the new DXVK Mali GPU fix driver. And this driver is especially for those who are facing compatibility issues or black screen issues on other Mali GPUs. Well, this time it runs really well. Anyway, now let's test out Steam on this Mali GPU by running an online version of games. Now let's load a game and see. And this is the multiplayer online version. This will automatically sync to cloud saves and also the game library. And there we go. It got loaded. All right. All right, at least it's playable. Not as smooth as the Snapdragon version, but here we are getting around 10 to 11 FPS. Also, it's very laggy, but still, it's really good to see we are actually emulating an online multiplayer version of a Steam game on a Mali GPU phone. Well, the game is based on Windows version of Steam. Also, please don't expect heavy games like CSGO or Cyberpunk 2077. They are too intensive for Mali GPUs right now. All right, now the game data will be saved to the Steam cloud. So that's all for this test of this GameHub emulator on a Mali GPU device. Overall, the new driver fix brings better stability and compatibility. And while the performance is still behind Snapdragon, it's great to see real progress on Mali GPUs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.